the modern technical analysis of crypto has come a long way. However, most investors prefer to have old-school approaches in their analysis. Dow theory is one of the old but influential ways to understand trading and make the call. The technical analysis helps the traders to predict the probable price movements of the crypto. An insight is presented into Dow theory and its principles. Having a better comprehension of Dow theory will help traders and merchants read crypto charts and grasp the technical analysis more flawly. Time to begin. What do we know about Dow theory? Charles Dow put Dow theory forward, and his observations were recorded in a Wall Street Journal around 150 years ago. The Dow theory is a phenomenon that time entries and exits in the stock market by analyzing the price trends and trading volumes. As history repeats itself, it is easier to predict market behavior as traders act the same way with the similar information present in the world. As a financial market theory, Dow's theory stated that it was possible to assess the market conditions accurately so that the market growth can be recognized along with the trend of individual stocks. Dow theory was the first phenomenon to explain the market moves. Ideas of Dow theory Even though the Dow theory is old, it stands high. There are six ideas of this theory used to understand the market better and enhance the profits exponentially. The subsection shall introduce those six principles to be one step ahead. Let us have a look, shall we? Market trend moves in three ways. The first principle of Dow theory is that the market moves in one of three ways. The first way is classified as the primary trend, which lasts several months to several years. The trend can be either bullish or bearish. Most conscious investors try to align their investment portfolio with the primary trend. After that, we have a secondary or medium trend that runs counter to the primary trend. It lasts from 10 days to 3 months. It loses 33% to 66% of the value gained in the primary trend in foreseen circumstances. The last trend is insignificant as there is minor movements in the process. It lasts from hours to months and is considered as the short swing. Trends have three phases. The second tenant of the Dow theory takes the primary trend under consideration and states that there are three phases in it. The first phase is accumulation, where the investors start buying assets towards the tail end of the downward trend. They do so in anticipation of creating a new upward trend. The price doesn't change much during this phase because these insiders are in the minority. The second phase is absorption when the upward trend accelerates and the market catches on these intelligent investors. The process leads to rampant speculation. The last phase is distributive, which changes the complete outlook of the market. Smart investors start selling their assets to the public as the upward trend has gone speculative. The limited supply of the asset makes the price retrace, which lowers the value and its volume. Stock price reflect news. The third principle suggests that the stock prices react to the news. The stock prices reflect new information that changes the value of the asset. The price change reflects the hopes and expectations of the market stakeholders. Moreover, some factors are integrated into the market price. For instance, earning expectations, product initiatives, major elections, and revenue projections. Indices must confirm trends. The fourth tenet of the Dow theory is tricky as it involves the relationship between two industries and their dependence on each other. For instance, both the manufacturing and transportation industries rely on each other. The growth in one business also positively impacts the other. Therefore, if an insider is willing to invest in one industry, he should be knowing the performance of the other. The average of both industries should be in the same direction. If they are diverging it, it means that the market trends are reversing. Volume must confirm trends. Charles Dow believed that the volume must confirm trends. He believes the relatively high volumes are necessary before confirming the primary trend. Consequently, the volume should increase with the increase in value during an uptrend. As for the downtrend, the volume should decrease with the price decrease. Trends exist until proven otherwise. The last tenet of the Dow theory suggests that the primary trend should be given the benefit of the doubt. The trends exist even until definitive signals prove otherwise. In short, the market remains in a trend until an external force is acted upon it. 
Conclusion The six principles of the Dow Theory give the insiders an extensive framework that helps organize information in the stock market. Most investors use this theory to know their exit and entry points to limit losses and enhance profits. The six ideas of Dow Theory are highlighted in detail, and we hope you can use any of them to ace the stock market and understand the trends better.